Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Clara Plonson and I am the Sales Marketing Manager here at Becast. So today we're going to see together what a week with Becast looks like and especially how you can become more productive on a daily basis thanks to some new routines. To start us off, I wanted to share with you a study from Gallup that I found really interesting. It tells us that today, a team where the members feel involved is not only much more productive, but also more profitable. And when we look at how to involve our teams in a process, we realize that it all comes down to commitment and cooperation. Today, whether you're working in person, remotely, or in hybrid mode, it's very important to be able to collaborate together in an efficient way. And that's why collaborative tools have become a must-have in our daily professional life. But it's only by using this type of tool regularly that we can truly become more productive. So now, let's look at some ways you can collaborate more efficiently together and boost productivity at work with Becast. We'll start with the weekly meeting every Monday. So the weekly meeting, also called a weekly follow-up meeting, is a 30-minute meeting that happens every Monday morning with your team. The goal is to get the week off to a good start by making sure that everyone is on the same page and has the same level of information. So the activity that I'm sharing is actually a session template that you can find on our Becast Inspiration website and import directly in your own session. The great thing about Becast templates like this one is that it helps you save time when building your sessions and it allows you to set up this type of ritual very simply for you and your team. So as you can see here, we have four types of information that can be shared every Monday. First of all, you have the announcements. Here we can share information about the company, key results, arrivals in other departments. Then we have the follow-up of the past week. So we're taking a look back and we're just going to kind of look at successful tasks that were completed or maybe challenges or difficulties that some members had to overcome. We also have a column dedicated to the priorities of the week. These are actions that will have to be taken immediately um, or at least prioritized throughout the week in order to reach your goals. And finally, you're going to be looking at potential hurdles and challenges. And this is a great time to kind of brainstorm with your team and see how you can overcome any possible obstacles for the week. So now let's move on to Tuesday. Here I wanted to share with you a practice that we've put in place at Becast, which is micro learning. So for example, I work a lot with our sales team and in order to help this team get up to speed on recent product evolutions, I prepare a very small quiz for them to take during the day. So every Tuesday, I share a very short Becast quiz so that they can just basically test their knowledge on our product, our market, our competitors, pricing, etc. Basically any information that can make them experts on Becast. The idea is really to ask maybe one to three questions in an MCQ format. And you'll see that this is a great way to start off the day because it really gets them engaged by staying up to date on, every, on everything surrounding our product in a fun way. Especially for a sales team, if they're a little competitive, you'll see that the challenge activity works great here. It is now Wednesday, and on this day, we have a very special meeting that we call the Director's Moment. So at Becast, for those of you who may not know, we have part of our team that is located in Paris and the other part of our team located in Nantes. And that means that, of course, we face our very own communication challenges. And this also means that cross-departmental cooperation is going to be a really big focus for us. And I think that we can all agree that in any company, it's important to make sure that everyone has the same level of information, but also that everyone can communicate easily um, no matter what kind of department you're in. So in order to reach those goals, we needed something that wouldn't take too long and that would engage everyone regardless of location. Whether we were in the office or working from home or in hybrid mode. So we created the director's moment. The idea is that once a week on Wednesdays from 1130 a.m. to noon, a manager from any team will share the highlights of his or her team's projects in about 20 minutes. Afterwards, the manager spends about 10 minutes answering questions and sharing with the rest of the team. 
So a very nice feature to use when you make this kind of presentation is the discussion space, which is a space that allows you to project messages, keep a written record of everything that was said. And then of course you can find all of this in a written report that is automatically generated by Bcast and that you can send out to everyone that was participating in this meeting or just to everyone in the company. Moving on with Thursday, I wanted to talk to you a little more about internal and external communication and events, especially webinars. So with Bcast, you'll be able to engage your audience on a daily basis and really allow them to play a more active role within the company. So with internal communication, Bcast can be a really great tool to kind of gather people's opinions, know where people stand on certain subjects. You can launch polls and surveys really easily. And of course, on a more external strategy, you can really build great webinars with Bcast. So if you haven't had the ability to participate in one of our webinars, I highly encourage you to sign up for one. You can find them on our Bcast website, so make sure to do that. But as you can see, we have a lot of activities and models that you can use in order to really build participation and make sure that everyone feels like they can easily interact with you. And one activity that we particularly like in events is the word cloud. So there are many ways you can use this activity. It can be an icebreaker, but it can also be a brainstorming tool. Here, for example, you could ask people to define what makes an event successful. And you'll see your word cloud grow as more and more people come together to answer this question. At the end of this activity, you can also choose to challenge your participants by picking certain words and asking them questions on them. Finally, it's Friday. And for a lot of people, this means that it's time to look back on the week. In the marketing team, we like to host retrospective meetings every two weeks with our creative team. So the goal is obviously to get a general overview of different achievements, but also to optimize our process. It's a time to share areas for improvement and to think about ways to work better together. With Bcast, you have different retrospective templates like the hot air balloon, which allows us to highlight the strengths that allow us to go further, but also the obstacles called weights here that can potentially pull us down. And there you have it. These are just some ideas to help you gain efficiency and productivity on a daily basis. Creating a routine allows you to establish a regular follow-up of actions and avoiding spending too much time on the same task. In a hybrid context, it's essential to build a collaborative company culture by rethinking the way we work together. And of course, collaborative tools like Bcast now play an important role in automating certain tasks and therefore optimizing processes. Basically, whenever you have a meeting, a training session, or a presentation, you can just put it in Bcast and really start building a more collaborative exchange. So I hope that I brought you some new ideas and routines that you can easily implement on your side. Feel free to check out some of our other videos and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon for some new videos with more tips about how to use Bcast on a daily basis. Thank you so much. Bye.